Cube, this is Jeff Frick. We're here at the Amazon AWS Summit 2013 in San Francisco in Moscone Center. It's a beautiful day here. There's a lot of good buzz in the room. You probably see people walking around behind us. We are here to, uh, we're the Cube. We're here to extract the signal from the noise. We go out to the events. We get to the people that you want to talk to. Ask them the questions that you wish you were here to ask them. And in fact, you can throw in questions. We encourage you to uh, join into the conversation. The hashtag for the show is AWS Summit. That's AWS Summit with two S's. So feel free to uh, throw us a note on Twitter. I'm here joined by Luis Sala That's from correct. Alfresco. Good, I didn't mess that one up. <laughs> Welcome to theCUBE. Well, thank you very First much. First time to theCUBE. Yes, indeed. Excellent. So uh, we're excited to have you on a partner, a partner of, That's uh, right. of Amazon. Yep. And you've been around for, Alfresco's been around, I think you said, for six or seven years? Yeah, about seven, uh, seven to eight years. Uh, we were founded in January of 2005 um, by the former uh, co-founder of Documentum, so okay. now part of EMC. Okay. And uh, we've been specializing in uh, document management, enterprise content management, uh, but with a twist. We've been uh, uh, focused on open source, right? So open source, enterprise content management, disrupting that traditional space. Right. And and, uh, and we compete with like SharePoint, Documentum, FileNet, you name it. Okay, so you got a long history in the document Very long, the sorted history. A long, yes. sorted history. And, and also the disruptiveness. So it's interesting that you brought up the open source because that's clearly a disruptive trend exactly. that we're seeing a lot of. Combine that with the cloud, and exactly. uh, you guys are right in the in the meat of right it. Right in the middle of it, absolutely. So open source, uh, uh, in a sense, yeah, it, it did predate cloud in that they, um, uh, uh, it provided an easy distribution medium for for what uh, for software that is very difficult, uh, normally considered to be very difficult to install, set up, etc. Right. So so now we have the ability to download and run a content management system such as Alfresco within just a few minutes. Uh, but this uh, now with cloud, we get like basically instant gratification, the ability to quickly, so quickly deploy and get up and running that people can basically store their business critical documents and, and execute their processes in no time at all. Okay, so let's, so let's talk about that from a couple point of views. First off, I want to talk about it, it's kind of a follow up from the company point of view. Yes. So you guys had a, originally an on-prem solution, I presume, that's six right. years ago, that's how you went to market. Exactly. So how did your uh, kind of go to market and, and, and decision making process evolve such that A, you're considering cloud and got into cloud, and B, right. what specifically about Amazon and AWS it, is appealing? It was a combination of just luck, uh, because of the way that the product itself was designed, as well as just uh, being aware of what the trends were and being able to plan accordingly. So it just so happened that the way that our product was developed, because it was developed using open technologies and supporting open standards, it lends itself very nicely to, to not just being deployed on premises as we've been doing for the last seven or eight years, but also being deployed to Amazon's infrastructure. So we can take advantage of all the different services that Amazon brings to bear and in a way that no other technology, no other classic enterprise technology has been able to do and so what far. what type of an effort was that from your point of view? Um, so, for example, um, uh, we support S3 for, uh, for file storage, right? And uh, the effort itself from a purely technical perspective was two days. I, in fact, I wrote, days. The, I wrote the S3 connector. <laughs> I am not a developer anymore, but I wrote the S3 connector in two days. Okay, two right? days. So taking advantage of now unlimited elastic storage, it was just like that, right? And now I can make it available to my customers in, in seconds, right? right. Okay. Which is great. Okay, so then let's flip a little bit and talk about from the customer perspective. Absolutely. So if a customer comes off Fresco, they, they, they love your stuff, they want to get into the content management system, what are some of the options or uh, factors that they should consider about when they're really choosing a deployment option. Right, so uh, it, it is, you're going to look at cost, you're going to look at uh, time to market or time to deployment, right? Uh, you have to consider um, any, your desire for customization and extension of the system. Um, and uh, ultimately, I think the first two, the cost and the timeliness of it, are probably the single biggest factors that I would uh, consider. Anything else just depends on use cases and any particular requirements that that fall outside the norm. Is there one or two main ones that are kind of the drivers that, that you find? For, uh, for cloud adoption versus not, um, I would say, I would say um, customers who want, uh, inst who want secure document sharing um, and they want to be able to do it in a way that gives them full control of their documents and, and full awareness of where those documents reside versus say, putting them on Dropbox, for example, or something okay. along those lines. I think that is the, the single biggest driver. And in fact, uh, with, in, in, 
in our relationship with Amazon, uh, we've been getting a lot of traction with this whole idea of secure enterprise drop boxes. Uh, and this is something that has been uh, uh, put into practice at a pharmaceutical company and also at a uh, banking organization where uh, through the combination of of AWS and Amazon, actually I'm sorry, Amazon and Alfresco, uh, we got together and implemented the secure uh, document collaboration solution that meets very strict uh, security guidelines uh, and, and policies as well. So is that a new co-developed product? Is that just a kind of a joint offering it's that comes out as a, pa a package to it's look a, like a product? It's a combination of the out-of-the-box product, 95% out-of-the-box technology, uh, with, uh, with just you know, putting some elbow grease into it and basically implementing uh, uh, some of the more security-oriented aspects as were dictated by this particular pharmaceutical and, and financial services organization. Okay, okay great. So another one of the topics that came up earlier in yes. the keynote by Andy was talking about the, um, the ecosystem. That's right? right. So you've got an ecosystem of, of customers, obviously, yes. but now you've got an ecosystem of partners. And it kind of reminded me of, of the Apple App Store, right? Absolutely. You've got all these people that are, that are in, you've got a, a ton of different products and services to choose from. That's correct. To leverage within this environment. How has that Participation well, in that community impacted it's, your business. It's it's really what drives uh, innovation and ultimately I think uh, traction within the marketplace. So so the uh, when you look at the three main things that we're looking at is, is Amazon as the the core uh, uh, place where we all get together. But then you have consulting partners, which we are we have uh, currently two SI partners that are AWS consulting partners as well. And we ourselves as a technology provider, we're part of the technology partner program. And so uh, this is giving us a venue by which we can number one, market and, and, and deliver our solutions, but also then extend and customize them to support the needs of our customers. Okay, great. So I want to shift gears a little bit, doing a little homework on you guys before you came on. Uh, I think one of your lead links on the website is this United Cerebral Palsy. Yes. Um, and here at, at theCUBE, we're all about the technology, but even more we're about the technology athletes. We're about people that, that create these companies that develop this cool technology and deliver it, and, and, and people are people. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Certainly. what the Cerebral Palsy um, initiative is yeah, about. Yeah, taking a, a quick step back, you know, our mission at the end of the day is to help organizations manage, share, secure their business critical content or, or really content that matters, right? And, and United Cerebral Palsy of Greater Chicago is an excellent uh, uh, example of, of an organization that is providing services to, to disabled children um, and, uh, and they did so by, by taking uh, Alfresco's content repository, scanning uh, books for these children who, can no who, who are no longer capable of interacting with physical books, and digitizing them, and then presenting them in such a way that it's far easier for the, for the child to interact with, say on a digital device such as a tablet or a computer. And, uh, and it's, it's, this is a great example of what I would call great work. You know, okay. it's, it's really kind of saying, let's make knowledge, information easily accessible no matter who you are, no matter where you are, or what device you're using. Great, and how many people is that touching? How many kids, how so, many So, uh, I'm not books? familiar with all the details as to how many uh, children there are. There are several different school systems and libraries that are associated with this. Okay, great. Um, but uh, it's something that uh, uh, can, be, can be made available, so okay, we can do a little research. Great. So again, I'm here with Luis Sala, from Alfresco, talking about changing the world, which is great. It's, it's, uh, it's always great when, when companies and individuals find the time and, and take the time to use the technology to deliver great yeah. things for kids. You're in theCUBE, we're at Amazon Summit 2013 in San Francisco. Again, we invite you to join the conversation. The hashtag is hashtag AWS Summit, so send us a tweet. We'll be right back with our next guest. You're in theCUBE. <laughs>